Welcome to our channel, where there is an ocular grant. And in this video, we'll share our top five peel and stick DIY installation ideas. We're pretty sure you may see an idea that may spark your next home improvement project. Let's start with number five. These 18 by 18 tiles are the biggest square peel and stick tiles we found. They are great at making smaller spaces appear larger. These tiles were perfect for our foyer makeover and very budget friendly. We decided to install these tiles in a diamond pattern instead of the stack pattern to further expand the look of our small space. With larger tiles, it's very important to have a smooth surface to alleviate any cracking or lipping. Lipping is when the corners or the edges of the tile come up. We installed our first tile at a 45 degree angle in the center of our space. Due to the size of these tiles, it's great to have a helper assist with removing the peel and stick backing. Larger tiles have less grout lines. We used a pre-mixed grout for vinyl tiles. Overall, we were pleased with our peel and stick diamond pattern install. At number four is our 12 by 24 rectangle shape peel and stick tile. This groutable luxury vinyl tile transformed our kitchen. The old tile was so damaged, we decided to scrape it up and tile directly on the concrete subfloor. Installing tile in a brick pattern can also make a room appear larger. Peel and stick tiles are easy to cut to shape and easy to install. It was really nice to see the quick transformation of the floor with each tile that was laid. The 100 pound roller helps the adhesive to bond better and levels the tile. We were so pleased with the style and durability of these peel and stick tiles that we installed them in our bathroom. It was even easier because we tiled over the existing tile. Hey guys, we have a bonus idea for you. Did you know that you could put peel and stick tile on ledges and surfaces other than the floor? We used one of our sample tiles and upcycled it to create an accent ledge in our bathroom that is also water resistant. You can easily trace and cut a custom shape out of peel and stick tile. I was really glad we were able to turn one of our big sample tiles that we liked into a quick and easy DIY project. And now for number three. Hexagon, also known as nature's perfect shape, is probably one of our most transformative tiles. These tiles are great because they gave us the durability of vinyl and yet the look of ceramic. Our helpers are growing stronger with each DIY project. We appreciate the extra hands to help us remove the water damaged tile. The nice thing about hexagon tiles is that they have the same length and same angles so they can fit together in any arrangement. This is a smaller geometric shaped tile that can be used on floors, backsplashes, or as an accent wall. These tiles are thinner than the square tiles and much easier to cut with a box cutter. Yeah, I'm glad because we had to make a lot of cuts for this project. Once you score the tiles, it's also easier to have a clean break. One thing to note is that these hexagon tiles require a lot of spacers and they don't stick as well as the larger tiles. We needed two people and a lot of patience for this floor makeover, but it was worth it in the end. These tiles have a timeless design that really upgraded our small bathroom.
Our small bathroom floor had become a beautiful mosaic. Now for number two, we're headed to the kitchen for a Smart Tiles Peel and Stick Backsplash install. These tiles are a perfect addition to any kitchen DIY makeover. It's so important to first clean the surface with a powerful degreaser to help with the adhesion of the tiles. This peel and stick comes in sheets and is one of the easiest DIY home improvement projects you can do. By using a leveler and a smart tile silver edge trim, we were able to maintain even lines. By simply peeling the backing, we were able to give our kitchen a more modern aesthetic. Smart tiles work by overlapping the tabs of one sheet with the other. Our tile pattern was pretty busy, but they have many designs to choose from. Installing these sheets are super easy around outlets. Be sure to have sharp blades for your box cutter and you'll be good to go. You can also use these smart tiles as a backsplash in your bathroom. The peel and stick sheets were so easy to use, we decided to tile around our kitchen window. Doing so created a lot of spare pieces. We decided to tile over one of our coasters for our plants. These smart tiles created a beautiful backsplash for our kitchen that was easy to install, easy to clean, and easy on the eyes. Hey DIYers, if you want to get more information on how we install each of these top 5 projects, check out our Peel and Stick DIY playlist. Now let's get to number 1. Yes, one of our favorite 12 by 24 rectangle tile install. At our local home improvement store, we were inspired to install peel and stick tile on our bathroom wall just like they display it. We were so inspired that we wanted to transform our bathroom into a beautiful accent wall with a gray stone-like finish. To cut the tiles for this project, we used a pruner, a box cutter, and a Dremel. We were really surprised at how well garden pruners work when cutting out edges of peel and stick tile. We used a flooring adhesive specially formulated for vinyl tiles with a moisture control. This was our first time ever tiling on a wall and we wanted to make sure these tiles were not coming down. We needed to add adhesive and a lot of pressure so that the tiles would not fall off. This DIY project started with just being an accent backdrop for our new light fixture. We liked the look of these tiles so much that we decided to install them all the way up to the ceiling. There are so many peel and stick options out there that you can find a texture or design that fits your style. While working together, we used a ladder stabilizer and extension ladder to install the final tiles. We grouted these tiles without spacers just to blend in the seams. The before and after results of this DIY amazed us. Well, we hope you've enjoyed our top five ideas on how to install peel and stick tile to transform your living space. Have any of you ever used peel and stick tile on the wall? Or anywhere else besides the floor? If so, we'd love to hear about it in the comments. If you'd like to see more videos like these, please subscribe to our channel. I didn't say subscribe, but it's a slide.